Hey guys, Ace and Gia. So before I start this showcase of Piccolo, I do want to confirm that his search tree is actually complete. So if I zoom out from one end and scroll throughout, you can see that every node is actually complete. Let me zoom out a bit more so you can see the top. It's all complete, so I do believe in the future we can go beyond tree 3 and beyond level 1000. And the reason being is, when you hit level 1000, it says that you can increase the cap of the character's level. Another factor that supports this is that the Super Soul 3 cannot be attainable and has no function. Also, the third equipment slot cannot be unlocked. So I believe in the future, if they do increase the level cap and make a fourth tree, that there will be function for Super Soul 3 and there will be a way to unlock the third equipment slot. But let me tell you, the, all these three trees were really expensive and a massive grind actually. And this is my first showcase, by the way, of any character. So I think the best way to do this is to do the Nappa event on EX5 and only be using uh, Piccolo. So I do want to show off the Strike Art damage by itself. Uh, same thing with the Key Blast and the Special, and then show it off with the boosts. So let's quickly go in. And let me tell you that this guy is an actual beast. So if we go to party details, we'll quickly go through his ability. So his ability, he's got plus 22 percent elemental green based strike defense during battle. His unique abilities are he reduces damage received by 50% until combo ends when changing over. So what that means is if someone's getting comboed in your team that's not Piccolo and he switch out to Piccolo, he will take 50% less damage. He's also an anti-Saiyan, so plus 20% to blast damage inflicted against Saiyan. So let's get a balance between Strike and Blast. So we've got, there we go, 6-6. Six, six. And this guy's an absolute monster. He's definitely a top tier in the current sparking list, I can tell you that for sure. And another thing I do want to say is, it doesn't actually heal for 25%, it does have a cap. Because if you look at my Piccolo's HP right now, it is 425k. So the Strike Art by itself does 66k. Let's use a Key Blast. Uh, fortunately, we couldn't get that in. So I might be taking heaps of punishment in this showcase, but I don't know how much damage each card does. So if we look at the Key Blast, I can see the numbers. Now let's use a special, hopefully we can get it in. No. Alright, we'll, we'll see the number now. So we've got 79k, so let's use the boost now. Plus here we have the attribute advantage as well, because green beats blue. So with the Key Blast, we got 131 with the Crit. Let's charge up for a bit. Oh, we had that boost. I thought we were going to get the actual hit. I'll use it now. So 153k, but that did take into consideration the hit from the... Let's get this in. 225k with the attribute advantage. So look, when I use my special, it heals 100k only. It should heal more if it's actually 25%. And then we'll check out the Rising Rush. Alright, we'll go Fist. Hopefully, because the AI in EX5 can counter the Rising Rush. Let's hope that's not the case. And there we go. Six hundred and ten k, and that's without the attribute advantage. So let's go into one more battle of EX Five. So we've got two Yamcha equipment. So I haven't got that perfect window. Alright, let's do this again. So we're gonna do a good balance between the Strike Art and the Key Blast. But let me tell you, Piccolo, if you got him, definitely max out his tree. Probably the next character I'll be working on will be the Scout of Vegeta. That guy's damage output is through the roof. I think he has the highest damage output overall. But don't quote me on that. Looks like you can we'll use a special straight away. So without the boost, 166. 
Good double key blast. So here I'll try playing naturally as well. So they're getting punished by Vegeta. So we'll try to use all four, see if we can destroy him. And there you have it. With the attribute advantage and four strikes, we can actually one-shot Vegeta. Well, four shot, I guess you could say. I won't be using the Rising Rush in this one, because it won't make any difference in terms of damage. But as you can see, he can finish the EX-5 by himself. He's got no issue as well. And done. Thing is, I would show him off in PvP, but the only issue is many people lately disconnect from PvP or there are lag issues, and that's the reason why I want to show him in EX5. Hopefully, it's a really nice showcase, and you guys enjoyed it. However, like and subscribe for more Dragon Ball Legends content, and enjoy the rest of your day.